Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to the 15th lecture of the Calculus Video Tool series. The topic of today's lecture is trigonometric expressions. The concepts related to the problem that we will be discussing in this today's lecture and this formula has already been discussed in lecture number 11 and 12 so I'd like to request all of you to watch those videos first and then come to watch this video and that will help you understand this particular video very easily. Okay, so let's start. As you can see that the problem statement is already written on the board. So it says limit x to 0 cosec x minus cot x divided by x. Okay, so what we will do in the next line is that we will convert cosec x as 1 divided by sin x. Okay, so we know that cosec x is the opposite of sin x. So we can write it as 1 by sin x. Okay, minus cot x. So we can write cot x as Cosec, uh, sorry, cos x over sin x, okay? Cos x over sin x. We can write that. So, cos x is equal to 1 over sin x and cot x is equal to cos x over sin x and divided by x, okay? I hope you understand this part. Now, coming to the next line, what you can do here in the denominator, you write x as it is. Now you can take common or you can take the LCM. So if you take the LCM, it becomes sine x in the denominator and you have one minus cos x, okay? Very easy. So you just subtract these two terms and the LCM of the denominator is here sine x and sine x, so the LCM is sine x. Now what you can do is that you can write it as limit x tends to zero. Uh, you can bring this sine x here. So 1 minus cos x divided by x times sin x, okay, we can do that. Now we will convert this 1 minus cos x, so we will get 2 sin square x by 2, okay. I hope you understand this but because we already discussed the same topic number of times in the previous few lectures. So if you face trouble understanding this concept then you just go back to those videos and you'll get x times sin x. Okay. Now we have to adjust. Okay. So how can we adjust is that you have 2 times sin square x. So you have square sorry x by 2 that means this part should also be in square. So you can write it as x square times sin x. So it was sin x, but you have written here x square. That means you brought extra x. I mean, you multiplied with extra x. So that's why we divide it with x here. So this x divides this x square, so you get x. If you go back to the previous line, okay? Now the last part, limit x tends to zero. 2 times. So you have sine square x by 2. In the denominator you have x square but you should have x square by 4. Why x square by 4? So that in the next line you can write it as x by 2 whole square. So it was x square you have written here x square by 4. That means you have to write 4 here to adjust and you have 1 divided by sin x by x. Okay. The next line, what you can do here is that, so 2 by 4, you can write it as 2 by 4 and now you can combine this part, okay? So it will become sine x by 2 divided by x by 2 whole square multiplied by 1 divided by sine x by x, okay? Now this part will become 1, this part will also become 1. You are left with 2 by 4, which is equal to half. Okay, very easy. So, if you watch the previous few lectures, uh, especially from lecture 11, 12, 13, 14, then this should not be any more problematic to you. Okay, so that was it for today's lecture. In the upcoming few lectures, I will discuss some interesting problems and especially the next video is going to be very, very interesting because uh, I have 
a problem in my mind that is very, very interesting. Okay, and I will discuss that problem in the next video. So till then, stay fine. Assalamualaikum. Allah Hafiz.